What's going on YouTube? Smashing Pumpkin here, coming at you guys with a very quick deck profile of the Shadal deck that I ran at Columbus Regionals. I got 15th place, and I managed to get my invite for the season, which is pretty awesome. I guess I'll just share the deck list that I ran with you guys, and then answer a couple of questions that I'm projecting that you have. But if you have any other questions for me, be sure to put it in the section down below for comments and I will answer all of them. I'll also feature like a tournament report or something similar to that on that day as well. So without further ado, here's the deck profile. Play three Mathematician, two of every good shit all monster. That was really good. Oh, fuck. Then for the light monsters, we played two Lila and one Felice, and then we played Thunder King and Rainbow Kribo. And then we played BLS. Spell cards. Played three Shadal Fusion, two El Shadal Fusion, one Super Polymerization, one Foolish Burial, one Soul Charge, one Raigeki, and three MST. Then Trap cards. Played three Sinister Shadow Games, two Breakthrough Skill, two Vanity's Emptiness, one Compulsory Evacuation Device, and one Side Shadow deck. Core. Two Electric Virus, two No Woman of Cross Out, one Fairy Wind, two Dust Tornado, two Chain Disappearance, two Rivalry of the Warlords, two Trap Stun, and two Mask of Restrict. Extra deck, one Carnegorgan and one Castell for the XYZs, two El Shadal Construct, three El Shadal Winda, two here and one in someone else's possession probably, and one Shikanaga, then one Leo, one Scrap Dragon, one Star Spark, one Black Rose, one Michael. That I know, I'm now aware that I cannot possibly make this card ever. That was supposed to be an Ancient Sacred Wyvern, but I did not have that card, so I just put in this card just in case if it ever came up, but it won't ever. And then one Armadis. Okay, so I just laid out some of the cards in my main deck that were a little bit weird, I guess, in comparison to other Shadal decks. The first thing that's a little bit weird about my Shadal deck is I play a lot of Shadal monsters. I play 10 of them, which is a quarter of your deck. And I feel that that is a good number for the deck because you are doing a hell of a lot of fusion summoning. So you don't want to run out of Shadal monsters before your opponent does in the mirror match. So I decided to play a bunch of Shadal monsters without playing so many that they clog. I found 10 to be the good number for that. I'm not sure if I want to play three Shadal beasts, which was something someone brought up to me as opposed to playing two falcon or two hedgehog that might require a little bit more testing or maybe i'll play like 11 should all monsters but as it stands the deck runs pretty smoothly with those numbers i didn't brick nearly as much as i was projecting myself to so that was good the next thing that was slightly questionable was lila lila was kind of thrown into the deck as just more spawn trap card removal and because I was playing a high number of Shadal monsters, there was a good potential of me milling into one, or milling into like a Cores or a Rainbow Grebo or something. So the milling wouldn't be nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. But Rainbow Grebo was put into the deck as a light monster that's really easy for you to send to the graveyard because it activates in the graveyard. So it's pretty good in that retrospect. And it's also a pretty decent monster to draw into as well but it's mainly just there for value, so that's Rainbow Kribo's job in life. Raigeki's purpose in the deck is sort of dual. In one aspect, it's in there to destroy Floodgate monsters, such as Banshee of the Radiance, Vandy's Fiend, Majesty's Fiend, etc. It's also pretty good just so that you can push for game, because you can actually throw a lot of damage onto the board, so just making it so that your opponent doesn't have anything to protect themselves with is pretty decent. The Dalcor 
This card is pretty essential because it'll allow you to recycle your Shadal Fusions and then your Shadal Fusions can get back your Shadal Core, so the cycle kind of continues. Thank you guys so much for watching the deck profile. I'll be sure to do a follow-up video for next time if you guys have any more questions about the deck. But for now, this is Smashing Pumpkin signing out. Peace.